Eamon, good to see you. Good to speak to you again as we talk all things Gaelic games. Welcome along to Highland Radio. Cheers, Ashin. How's the form? Nah, the form's not too bad. We're looking forward to what will be another busy weekend and looking forward to hopefully what will be a Donegal victory. Uh, Eamon, how big is this game for Paddy Carr and the players against Galway on Sunday? This is, a, this is a massive game and I think uh, everybody knows the importance of, of Division 1 and for me, the way the Division One shaping up, I think ultimately this game will tell, will ultimately decide whether uh, Donegal stay up or not. Um, looking at the looking at the other fixtures and the future fixtures, Donegal probably need to be uh, taking taking the taking the points here. Uh, unfortunately, it's at our um, or maybe not. The, the 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 duck has been broken now with with the result against our man last year. So hopefully that's the start of a new era in O'Donnell Park, but. Based on our previous record, it's uh, it's 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 not a great one to have. Yeah. Well, what about their performances going into this game? There's a lot to work on, is there? In, in such a very short period of time for them for them even to get right. And and I don't think anything you're not going to change dramatically during 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 that week from from last year from last week weekend against the Monaghan game. There's there's a lot to work on. It's just the mentality and getting getting the head right. And you know there can't be any. Petty or any poor me's during this week. It's just got you got them older lads have got to get everybody behind the wheel and just you know driving towards get getting that two points because we, we'd watch them and the I love their character and and the Kerry game when it, they could have folded. Kerry were starting to get away from them and they and they just kept at it and kept at it and that's what really impressed me. It wasn't the they played some good football yes, but it was the manner in which they reacted to Kerry getting on top and they kept going. Um and it, we just hadn't we haven't seen that then in the in the the following two games we went eleven nine up at one stage against Monaghan yeah and really should have pushed on but Monaghan had a wee fight back and we we did that reaction that was there in the carry game so it's none of us it's not there like they're getting in good good positions and uh, the re, just the reaction wasn't there and and they're going to be under the cosh here on. On Sunday, so we 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 have to see the right mentality. Was it a case that maybe Monaghan had a stronger bench, and players coming off the bench that was a was a bigger factor in that game last weekend? I I think you can make that make that argument. You know, Conor McManus had had an impact, and he steadied the ship, and he he got a few marks there. Um, you can make that argument, but we were still in the position. You know, we were still on top, and we really really should have went for it. Um, and when we were there at that eleven nine point, um, so. You can talk about benches. We still have quality there, and you know, there's a, there's a game in Langan now. There's a game in Own Ban, and you know that, that that'll take them up. Ashing Gallons and another man, and you know, probably if Jamie Brennan's goal chance goes in, they're they're in a lot healthier spot, and 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 then in that league. So, um, pl- there's still positives there. I know yeah. it's it's all doom and gloom, and there's still pl- plenty of positives and plenty of good good quality in that Donegal team, yeah. uh, to to pull it off on Sunday. You were involved in obviously setups that uh, at stages in the league struggled. Uh, Eamon, what's what's it like in the dressing room when you're going into such a game, um, a, a game which is a bigger magnitude now than it did maybe two two weeks previous, where you thought you might have had four points from six, but now you're sitting bottom with with two, have conceded the most, and you're going into a game where you, where you need to win. What's it like in a dressing room environment there to try and bounce back? The the important is, is everybody's just got to stay positive while acknowledging the the faults that are doing there. There's no point staying blindly positive, um. You, but if you get in, the danger is you can get into that kind of the poor me mode and things are going bad. And the important thing is just to stay positive, keep the shoulder to the wheel, uh, try and learn from what what happened in the in the previous two games, and and just kind of look look to bounce back. But it's it's how the lads interact with each other and how management interact, and you know if they're constantly giving out and there's bitching creeping in and all that, like that's that's not the way to go. And you'd you'd hope the the boys have been about long enough to to recognise that. Yeah, how big a plus is it from a Donegal point of view that they're not going to have Damien Comer and Shane Walsh this weekend? Ma- massive, massive. Yeah, that that that's a big, big plus for for us when we're we're looking to put one over on them because Shane Walsh is just playing. You know that this is the prime of his career and he he's one of the best players in the J at the minute. And Comer uh, on his day, um, he'll be a handful for for any fullback in 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 the country. So to have them not in the equation, it's 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 a big one. And you know. 
although it has been doom and gloom, there's no point saying otherwise out and about the, the, the Donegal public and amongst the supporters after the last two results, you, you look at that Galway team and, and you look at the Donegal team and you know it's it's realistic to be going in here and expecting two points. It's it's not beyond the realms of yeah. you know so you see you see a one for Donegal and it's very much achievable. I hundred percent see a one. You know, I, I think you know we haven't fallen that far away in the space are right, we've we've lost Murphy. Um, but we we haven't fallen that far away, and we just have to get the head right and get the get a get a setup that's that that suits us better, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely see a one. I think we yeah. we can get one. Galway haven't moved that far ahead of us, you know, in the space of that in the space of that time. If we were if you were to ask me last year, did I ask any GA folk that have been about the few games and watched both teams, there they wouldn't have been that far ahead, and they haven't dramatically. Got a few uh, leaps and bounds. They're missing Shane Walsh and Comer, so it's it's definitely realistic yeah. to to get well, the two points. And then I suppose it's it's basic enough. We need to score more and concede less, don't we, man? That's a simple. That's a simple <laughs> thing. I think if any manager or coach can uh, solve that, uh, get the magic formula for that, we'd we'd all be uh, sorted yeah. now. But it sounds simple, but once you're in in the, in amongst it, it's not as uh, it's it's a lot harder to implement. Yeah. Uh, listen, let's let's look at the other games. How surprised are you by Ross Common as they're going into their match with Monaghan this weekend? Three ones from three, top of the table, because this is the team that was being tipped to be fighting at the bottom with Donegal come the end of the campaign. Yeah, yeah, listen, there's no point saying otherwise. Um, I wouldn't have said it to Mark himself, but I had definitely tipped them for it to go down. And the, the real, I, I just didn't see, but there, there's quality there. And I think if you talk to people on the ground, Ross Common, that they, they believe they have as much quality as, you know, someone like Donegal or Tyrone or, or, or that there. And it was just about getting that uh, belief. And just on the backroom team, probably, what they, Davy Burke is highly, highly rated amongst amongst managers and, and coaches. And, and Mark, who's just on to the coaching scene, is, you know, the, there's a lot of good word, good word in him now. Um, so the, they, they've obviously given that wee injection of, you know, tactical know-how, the we injection energy and 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 Russ Common are are paying dividends now. The the question is, will they continue that into the championship? Or are they going all out to stay up? But the way the the whole season structured, you know, you can nearly base whether years before, because of that condensed condensed season, you can nearly base a lot of how you're going to do in the championship on on the league now. So teams will have a good idea where they're at come the come the end of the league, and it's it's shaping up well for Roscommon. In relation to Kerry, this is a big game, obviously Donegal against Galway. How big a game is it for Kerry against Armagh on Sunday? Because they're one of those four teams sitting joint bottom of the table on two points, Emma. It's it's a big game. I think Kerry have. You know, when we think back down through the years, Kerry have sometimes struggled, but always managed to stay in and around uh, Division One. And I don't, I don't think they'll be panicking now. I had to laugh. I was chatting to a boy during the week, and he says Jack O'Connor will be under pressure. <laughs> and I was kind of just nodded my head at him as if to say, "Genie Mac, that's a GA people are very, very fickle now." But yeah. um, they, they, they know the crack. They've been about long enough. Jack's been about, and there's been a few lads that have. Uh, won all Ireland previous, so they know it's going to be a slow. They'll have enjoyed the winter and you know enjoyed everything that goes what one in all Ireland. But they'll they'll move up through the gears nicely, and you know Clifford's will be back. You know they'll they'll have another week under the belt in that whole inter county scene. You know they've been playing junior football, and it takes a while then to 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 adjust to that inter county game. So they'll have another week. Sean O'Shea is back, and I think Kerry will be Kerry will be grand in the come for the Division 1 status anyway. Yeah. How grand will Mayo be? Um, because they had a they had that big one, of course, against Kerry last week. Uh, they're going well under under the new the new regime and the new management. But can Tyrone, who are at the other half the other on the other half of the table, uh, can they put it up to Mayo and Castle Bar on Saturday? It's funny too, is when I talk about the fickleness now that Mayo are Going to win in all Ireland and in, in, in the middle of February now, so that's the that's how well they're going. Um, that's the opposite end of the spectrum. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good things to see on on Mayo, and they seem to be making a lot of grounds. Um, I don't think they can automatically overwrite 
the the stuff they have to work in one season. I don't think I think that's going to be you know two three years down to try and correct them faults that have let them down so so many times over the years. Um, but if any team can can stop them, it's it's Tyrone, and we had them written off against. You know, a few lads had them relegated coming into the Donegal game, and they go out and they they try and Donegal, and I think they just thrive in that. They thrive in that, and we, we'll get sense in the media. Uh, in terms of we'll start playing them up and maybe they don't give them that uh, oxygen for the siege mentality and we, we start making them favourites for for all these games and maybe then that they'll uh, they'll they won't be able to buy into that yeah. because I think there was a crisis meeting after in Tyrone there was a crisis meeting after the the Russ Common result they stayed in the dressing room a few uh, for for a wee while and they must have had a few. Uh, home truths and they come out and they, they they bounce back and we we all give them plenty of ammunition during during that week and uh, they, they'll they'll definitely put it up to Mayo. Yeah, yeah. It's too early yet for calling a crisis meeting in Donegal, is it, Emma? Ah, uh, far. We we we've just got to be patient. We have to realise, you know, the 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 whole process wasn't as tidy like it wasn't tidied up as quick as we would like it. The, the lads. They're obviously trying to take it in a direction where we, we kick more. I know Donegal probably had to come in for, I don't know if it was justified or not, criticism in terms of the style of play. And the management have taken it on board and they're trying to take in a change it up a wee bit. And, you know, maybe they'll learn that we, we, we have to go to a more defensive model or, or whatever. Like, but it, it's, it's far too soon to be having crisis meetings. All right. Like, uh, ultimately, you know, it'd be brilliant if we could stay. It's, it's, we're under pressure, Division One status. Be brilliant if we could stay in Division One, but ultimately, it'd be about the, the the summertime and and how well how well we're we doing that there uh, going on the uh, the the last few years. Yeah, but but the, just finally, the reality of it is, if you get a one on Sunday, it puts a whole different dynamic on on how things are looking in the league. That's how things how tight things are down there at the, at the bottom of the table, and it could be a different feeling in the county come Monday morning off the back of one against Galway, Eamon. Exactly, exactly. It could be them conversations could be totally different if we it's all doom and gloom at the minute, get the right result against against Galway and you know, things aren't as bad and you know, we're going well and people start looking to the summer again and then that's just the nature nature of the base. That's the nature of uh, uh, lots and lots of supporters that it's kind of short sighted thing. They're not looking at the not looking at the long long term and, and, and what's involved, but um Changes. We we need the result that it'll change the whole dynamic of that. Uh, gives us a wee bit of hope. But if we lose, you know, it's the complete opposite. It's very very hard to. You're probably looking that third division one status um, come to an end. Yeah, well, we'll try and go into the weekend on a positive note, Eamon. And listen, we'll talk to you again soon, many Thanks for joining us on the Highland. Cheers, Ashley. Thank you.